Hey everybody, it's Mary the Craft Hoarder, and I'm here to show you the Ultimate Storage Tower. I purchased this from GinasDesigns.net, and I will put the link below so you can go check out her store. This unit it can be found in the category of Off the Page, and as I am filming this, it's on page 5. This is a... It basically holds four different units that come with... Um, and it's on a Lazy Susan. And it's so easy to put together. Gina sends along instructions that are very simple to follow. And you have a, a great storage unit. You don't need any nails or a hammer to put it together. It, this is all held together by glue. So I know she does suggest the uh, Beacons 3-in-1. Um, I know I did not have enough to put that together. So I had the tacky glue and the dry adhesive. And between the two of these, that's what's holding this together. So I'm going to start here with this section. This is a three-shelf section. And I just started kind of loading stuff up. And I'm sure by the time it's all said and done... <laughs> I'll have different things, but it's just an easy um, shelf. I, I have my whole three distress paints that I own here, um, my alcohol blending solutions and my crackle paint, and then I have my blending tools down here. Um, and I also, around the border, I did put this trim piece on. It does come with the cork board and the magnetic, and it, what that does, it co covers up the tongue and groove section, the whole thing is, is a tongue and groove. So as you can see, I'm not a, I'm not a very neat gluer, um, and that's okay because it can all be covered up. So you will see as I spin how I, I covered these drawers. The next section, and this is, this is the reason I got it, was for the ink organizer. So this holds all... All my Tim Holtz inks that I have, so these are the ones I do have. And I started, as you can see, I, I'm not quite finished labeling it, so I do have some of the other. It doesn't, um, I do have some of the Stamping Up inks, and they actually, well, grab these out of here. You could actually house these here. They do fit very nice here. Um, I'm just going to probably keep them in a drawer. In this section here, you could also put them. You can't put them sideways like this. They don't quite fit. You could put them this way. The only thing is, is it's not really deep enough, so it will stick out. But if you're good with that, then, you know, by all means, that's a good place for them to go. Um, I only have a few of them, so I, I can just keep them in a drawer right right below by my knees. So I do, I, like I said, I started getting these all labeled. And one of the reasons... I got this is because I uh, is because of this, and I knew I could never construct it. I saw uh, the two really awesome organizers from that Anna made from Anna's Paper Creations, and I was like, oh wow, I could you know I could watch that video you know 900 times and you know maybe make something like that. But then I realized it would be like the the whole Pinterest thing where you have the Pinterest picture, and then you'd have the picture of somebody who tried to make it and it looks nothing like it. So it'd be like, that would be my organizer. So I'm like, you know what? This was my birthday gift and I treated myself. Um, so, and I also on all of, so I've labeled them and then all of them have their own ink pads. Some of the colors I haven't used, but you know, like here, walnut stain. So then I can just grab it, plop it on and go. And that way I don't have to have room for all the uh each one to have a handle and up here what i have done is all my inks that i do have i've just kind of gone and made a tag and labeled it sorry this will have to probably be a different video on a different day but that's just how i keep my little sample chart of my inks right here so i know this is a, a two tier shelf and it has little little rails um i just kept my mini mister up here I, I i tend to make my own sprays sorry there it's a little dusty because you know it's was shoved away and not used forever and i'm like i need to have something that, so i can use this stuff um 
my liquid um, embossing, and then my Tim Holtz Distress Stains are down here. And then over on this side, what I've done is, this is where these drawers are, and you can put the drawers in, or if you need, like up here, what I've done is just a different type of glitter glues that I have, I've stuck up here, and eventually, I find myself not really using these, so hopefully now that they're going to be out in my face, they will be used. And then if I use them up and decide not to replenish them, I have all the drawers. And again, they all come, it's, they're all flat packaged. They're, she has all the drawers grouped together, so you don't have to guess which piece goes with which drawer. It's Like I said, it's very simple to put together. Do not be intimidated by the size whatsoever. So I have all the drawers then, and what I, I didn't want to go gung-ho with embellishments, but I just, I, the paper is um, uh, linens, lace and linens, uh, yeah, lace and the lace and linen stack by Die Cuts with a view. And all I did is measured it out. I took my one-inch hole punch, punched it out, just took the Tim Holtz um, distress tool and distressed all the edges. Then I inked it with Tattered Rose and then Walnut Stain. Um, this is a little metal piece that I had gotten from Craft Supplies 1 and a little pearl that I had gotten in a, a swap with Lily. Um, this dress form here is actually another piece from Gina's store. I just cut the base off and then I embossed it with um, some Tim Holtz distress, uh, distress embossing powder and um, some other stuff I had gotten from my dad and just stuck it on there. And this drawer here, I just simply curled back a page to look like it was, you know, kind of falling to pieces. Um, here's just a little fairy that I had, and I think that's from Graphic 45. And then so, you know, like down here, I started putting more of my inks, my, 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 my cat eyes, as we call them. Um, the color box, and then some of my uh, other chalkings, and, and here I have my perfect pearls. Uh, so yeah, very versatile. Um, and one thing too with these drawers, I should mention, see this hole here? You could if you wanted to, um, like eventually I want to actually line these drawers, but there's holes here, so you can have a, uh, let me just stick this in here. You could actually have drawer pulls and pull them out if you wish. At this time, I, I just I wanted to get using my cabinet, so I just went. I would I was good with the finger pull here, so you can just easily slide that out. And um, so yeah, and then more stickles up top. This you can use this for storage. And also in the middle there is a hole that you can anything like larger. Like I have my larger ruler here. So as you can see, this unit stands. It's a little less than 14 and a half tall. And probably about a, less than 11 and a half inches wide. So it, it's going to fit right, real nice over here in this corner. And I like it because it's going to be right there. And if I need something, I can spin it. And it's I'm not fighting to get into the drawers. So I absolutely love, love, love this piece. And as I was talking with my friend Kim, as I was putting it together, I'm like, I could almost use another one. Um, so yeah, you know what, go check it out. Like I said, very easy to put together. Do not be intimidated if you've never kind of done these kind of things before. Like I said, you don't need to be a neat glue because by all means, I was not. Um, these, this covers up all your gluing mess. I'm going to eventually line the inside here a little bit, uh, since you can see the back pieces of it, but you know. Like I said, it, this is a functional unit, and I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it and would recommend, to me, it was worth every penny. So please go out to GinaDesigns.net and check it out. I guarantee you, you won't be sorry. And she's got a lot of different neat products out there and is constantly coming out with new things. Um, yeah, go have a look. Okay, bye.